swing lick in C that uh, I sort of interpreted from, uh, in other words, ripped off from a bluegrass player named Scott Four. Uh, well, let's go right to it. It starts out on the 13th fret of the B string. And then you can go to this A, but the A is kind of a ghost note. You can even just mute that a uh, if you want or you can play the A whatever you want to do there and then you take that pattern um, we're kind of going to move it symmetrically down so we got and the next part it's going to sound a little off key but it sounds great in context and when you slow it down like this, it sounds weird because we're going from a C here to a C sharp up here. What that is basically is C sharp on the 11 of the 4th string, E on the 3rd string, 9th fret, and then we're going to D on the 4th string, 12th fret. Then we're going to move that pattern up a string and back two frets. It's um, going to be F sharp on the 9, the A string, A on the 7th fret of the D string, and then this G note on the 10th fret of the A string. And then we're going to resolve that down here. This B note, D note, C. 7th fret on the E string, 5th fret on the A string, and the C note here with our pinky, 8th fret, low E. And then we can cap that off if we want um, with a little Lester flat sort of lick. Um, it's just basic old staple lick, so we got D, D sharp, E, 5, 6, and 7 on the A string, 5 on the D string, pull off from 7 to 5 on the D string, which is an A and a G note, and then 5th fret on the uh, G string, C note there. You can do this little pedal steel type of bend if you want. You probably already know that, but just in case, all we're doing there is we're bending the, or we're uh, fretting the G and C note with the pinky, and we're using the index and middle finger to bend the seventh fret of the G string up a whole step. 